friends, this is my end of October grocery haul and you will be seeing some things that we will be uh, taking with us on our next camping trip. We're going to be going camping again fairly soon. So there, there's going to be lots of extra snacks and stuff. So without further ado, let's turn this camera around and show you what I picked up from Walmart. Okay, so we'll start with the non-food items. Travis needed some more uh, face wipes, so I got him some of these pink grapefruit. He really likes those. Travis was also needing some more melatonin, so I picked that up for him. I got some more night light bulbs. The last time I tried to get night light bulbs, they didn't have any, so I thought, well, they have them, I better get them. I got some more of my plus white uh, white teeth whitening gel. I like to use this oh, once every couple of weeks. I'll use it. Um, I got some more laundry detergent. I uh, ordered my um, the kind I normally get. I can't think of it. It's can't remember now. But anyway, they had to uh, substitute, so they substituted it for this Roma, which it's okay. Foca. That's the kind I usually get. F O C A. They didn't have any, so they replaced it with this, which is all right. Uh, Dave's bread, they replaced it again with the thin sliced, which Scott doesn't like as well, but when you order something and they don't have it, you either accept the replacement or you don't. If you don't accept the replacement, then I wouldn't have gotten any bread at all. So this was better than nothing, so I, that's why I said yes. I talked about the bread, but that's actually, um, I still have a few more non-food items I forgot to, to mention. Um, I got some more of these wet ones. I got these puppy training pads, not because we have a puppy. We would like to have a puppy, but we just haven't found one yet. Um, but because these make really good um, birdcage liners as well. So I use these to line the bottom of my birdcage. So I ended up getting some more puppy pads. Got some toilet bowl cleaner with bleach. Olivia is working on a quilting project and needed some batting, quilt batting, so picked up some batting for her. I got some more of these wax melts. Um, these are really good wax melts if you need them. Um, these are for over at my dad's house. And then I got some more spearmint gum. I love, I've been loving this spearmint gum. Okay, so now that's all the non-food items. We'll continue with the food items. <laughs> Uh, I got some hamburger buns. We're going to have hamburgers uh, when we go camping. Hamb bacon, bacon cheeseburgers on the fire, cooked over the fire. It's delicious. So I've got some hamburger buns here. Got four loaves of bread because we'll be doing more sandwiches when we're camping. Plus, Olivia likes to make pudgy pies, and that takes bread. So I got four loaves of bread. Um, I got some more of the pork rinds for Scott. I normally get this size, but they didn't have that size in the barbecue flavor. They just had it in the party size, so it's a bigger bag. But I got the barbecue and the salt and pepper. I got Scott some more Slim Jims. He really likes those. I got Scott some different kinds of the granola bars for his lunch. He thought these were okay but he prefers the kind ones. Now I prefer the Nature Valley. So I got these for me, peanut butter, and I got these for Scott for his lunch box. Dark chocolate chunk, two boxes of those, and then the chocolate peanut butter. Got another thing of coffee for the guys. Marshmallows for s'mores. I got the kids some candy. Um, Olivia, I asked him what kind of junk food they wanted, and Olivia said candy, and she wanted Junior Mints. Travis's favorite are Swedish Fish, so I got him those. So when I was looking at the Junior Mints online, they had, online, they had a bag of the itty bitty mini, mini, mini ones that you use for like baking, and I thought, okay, I'll get those for, and save them for Christmas baking. Well, when they told me they had to replace it, I didn't realize they were replacing it with the larger ones. So now I have three boxes of Junior Mints and I don't need that many, but that's what we got. I did get some Jolly Ranchers. I do like to keep hard candy in the camper. Sometimes campfire smoke gives me a sore throat and hard candy is uh, nice for that. So I like to take hard candy when we're camping. I've got two bunches of organic bananas. I've got some more pizza sauce. 
Got some dairy-free cheese for our bacon cheeseburgers. Two heads of organic iceberg lettuce. Here's the beef burgers for our camping trip. And I will be taking turkey burgers for me because I can't eat beef. Another um, thing that Olivia thought we couldn't live without on this camping trip was ice cream. So I got this blue bunny chocolate for Scott and Travis. And then I got some dairy free for Olivia. Um, some roast beef for sandwiches while we're camping. Some Cool Whip just to put in the freezer. Some broccoli stir fry. Half gallon of almond milk. Some of the silk almond creamer for me. And then I got the vanilla creamer and the chocolate for Travis. I got a bunch of chicken this time. I got some boneless chicken, boneless skinless chicken thighs. Chicken breast. We'll take the chicken breast with us camping. We'll have, have uh, chicken on the fire one night. And then chicken breast tenderloins. Might take the tenderloins instead of the breasts. I don't know. But one of those will go camping with us. Got some thick cut bacon. This is going camping with us. This is for the bacon cheeseburgers. Got two pounds of ground turkey. Two uh, packages of this uh, broth breakfast sausage. This is going camping with us. And then I ended up getting two whole chickens. These are just to go in the freezer. One of these little tiny chickens is not enough for our family. Um, so I'll cook two and then I'll, that'll be enough for like, I don't know, three dinners at least, maybe even more. So here's the junk food for the camping trip. Our last camping trip, the one complaint I got was that I didn't pack enough snacks. <laughs> so I tried to remedy that this time. I got two bags of the Sun Chips. Those are for me. Olivia insisted that she needed some double stuffed Oreos. I tried to talk her out of those because those are just so bad for you. <laughs> I got some classic salted wavy Pringles. Those are for Olivia. And then the pizza Pringles are for Travis. I got some cheddar and sour cream ruffles, original ruffles. And then this is Scott's favorite lightly salted lays and then I got some honey barbecue uh, poppables those are really good and those don't have any dairy in them got some Mountain Dew for Scott and Travis and some coke for Olivia and this Mountain Dew is for Travis's uh, lunch for work I think I mentioned everything I don't think I forgot anything so I'll get this stuff put away and I'll show you what I picked up from Aldi. This is what I picked up from Aldi. It was a lot smaller haul than I normally get. I didn't really need any canned goods or not much meat from Aldi. So this is a lot of this is just for camping. Not not all of it, but a lot of it is. Uh, this jerky, I got one package of peppered and two original. This is for our camping trip. It has become a tradition that whenever we go camping, Scott has beef jerky to chew on while we're driving down the road. So the last trip, which was the first time we took this camper out, and it's the first time we've been camping in a lot of years, he's like, where's my beef jerky? I had completely forgot that we always did that. So I made sure he had plenty of beef jerky for this trip. <laughs> So you can chew on it on the way to our camping trip and on the way home. I got two packages of hot dogs. We're going to have hot dogs one night for dinner while we are camping. Three um, bags of everything bagels for Travis. This is some seasonal stuff that they had, which was delicious looking. And I got this just because I love, I love this time of year and I love all the seasonal things that go with fall. So I got some of this seeded pumpkin bread. I thought this would be delicious toasted with a little bit of butter and cinnamon sugar on it. I make a cinnamon sugar um, blend that's got stevia. So it's uh, stevia and cinnamon that I put on my uh, toast and stuff. It's really good. And that's the same with these bagels, their harvest. I would have gotten the pumpkin spice bagels, but my family doesn't like pumpkin spice. I'm the only one. So I got the harvest ones so that 
And if anyone besides me wants one, they can have one. I got a package of whole wheat flour tortillas. I got sandwich skinnies for me. I like to take these when we're camping and use instead of a hamburger bun or if we're having um, sandwiches. Just saves a little bit on calories. I got some pistachios for the camping trip, some dark chocolate for s'mores. And then this is one of the disadvantages of doing all of your shopping online. I could have swore I chose the original graham crackers. So I either messed up and ordered the cinnamon ones or they messed up and gave me the cinnamon ones. But I got the graham crackers for the s'mores. So I've not ever tried s'mores with cinnamon graham crackers, but I guess the kids are just gonna have to have to do it and hopefully it's not gross. <laughs> I got five dozen eggs because we eat a lot of eggs when we're camping. We're gonna have scrambled eggs one morning for breakfast and so this is also for our camping trip and just because we eat a lot of eggs, especially Travis and, and Scott, they eat a lot of eggs. I got some more fast rising yeast. This is just to go into my long-term food storage. I got two cans of pumpkin. I've been hearing rumors and rumblings that canned pumpkin is going to be one of those things that's hard to find. So I wanted to make sure that I had canned pumpkin for Thanksgiving. Now this is plenty to make pumpkin pie. I got some beef bouillon and some chicken bouillon. This is also for my three month um, emergency food storage. I got Travis some more of this macaroni and cheese. The regular macaroni and cheese and the shells and cheese. Got another box of saltines for my food storage room. Another thing of oats for my food storage room. I got three bottles of the seltzer water that Scott likes. He has quite a stash of it now, so I just got him three this time. One lemon lime, one berry, one grapefruit. I got two uh, things of pure maple syrup. We were completely out, and one of the breakfasts we're going to have when we're camping um, is pancakes, so I knew we needed more syrup. Got some half and half for Scott's coffee. I got two things of apple cider. Olivia has been wanting apple cider, so I got some of that. Got two bags of frozen broccoli, a frozen pizza for Travis. Some more bacon because we'll have bacon with breakfast. Probably when we have the scrambled eggs, we'll have bacon. Uh, these are the hot dogs I got. I got the beef franks for most of the family, and then I got the turkey franks for me. I've said this a million times, but I can't eat beef. It just does not agree with me. Got some uh, cheese slices and a pound of butter. I'll get this stuff put away and show you what I picked up from Kroger. So this is everything I picked up from Kroger. It was a pretty small um, haul this time. I got some organic russet potatoes. These are gonna go camping with us. Tonight we have uh, chicken, we'll have baked potatoes. We got some more um, organic apples. We've been eating a lot of apples around here lately. I got some more of our dairy-free Cool Whip. This is the ice cream that we're gonna take camping that mainly Olivia will eat, but I will probably have a little bit because this stuff is really good. Got some more of our non-dairy sour cream. This is a non-dairy uh, creamer I have never tried and it was from Starbucks and I thought oh that is so neat I want to try it it's made with almond milk and oat milk and it is caramel macchiato macchiato so I know for a fact it's not sugar free <laughs> 30 calories for one tablespoon so this is pretty uh, high calorie calorie dense but I'll probably cut it with some of my other creamer, and um, but I just wanted to try it. Maybe it won't take very much in my coffee too. Some of these better brands work better. I've got two bags of my uh, dairy-free cheddar cheese. And then these, if you saw my last grocery haul, the Walmart had given me a little goodie bag with samples in it, and it gave us some of this creative roots. It was the mango, 
peach mango. It's low sugar. It's really good. It's sweetened with stevia. I really, really liked it. So I thought, oh, I'm going to order some. They didn't have any. Walmart did not have any. So it's like you're promoting an item that you don't even carry. So I looked on Kroger, and sure enough, Kroger had it. So Kroger needs to thank Walmart for giving me a sample of this um, water <laughs> that I ended up buying from Kroger. All right, friends, that is my end of October grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't terribly large this time. Um, a lot more junk food than I normally uh, get. But like I said before, when we go camping, that's when we have fun things to eat. So, and like, and the family was like, not happy that I didn't have enough snacks the last time. So we have plenty this time. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.